Well, the name of this program, but I'm going to need a helper. Somebody sitting quietly, tall and straight. I'm going to pick that guy right there. Yes, come on up. Give him a big round of applause. Yes. All right, stand right there, face the front. Okay, good. Now, you will need the special safari outfit, okay? You ready? And uh, what is your name, sir? TJ? How old are you, TJ? You ate all right? I haven't eaten yet. I am hungry. I'm going to have lunch right after though, okay? But TJ, how many years old are you? How many years old? Oh, eight and a half. Okay, okay. Well, TJ, we'll let you wear that. Okay, and... Right, you need the proper hat. Duh. Oh, and... Of course, you need the special safari glasses. Good! Face the front. Give everybody a big smile, TJ, a big smile! Woo! Good! Alright. Now, you have a good imagination, right? Okay, hang on a minute. We are going to go look for the invisible butterfly, okay? And then I'm going to get this to my butterfly net right here. And Ow! Ow! Oh, that was weird. I almost had a shark attack. Uh-oh, wait a minute. But there's something... Mo Monty, is that you? Monty's in the bag. Monty the monkey. Everybody say, hi, Monty! Hi. Monty, what are, you, what are you doing? He said, hi, he said, hi, too. What are you doing in the, in the bus line yet? <laughs> what? You're looking for some Monty's Marvelous Monkey Food? That doesn't even sound right. Is that, is that a joke? <laughs> it's real? You're not trying to trick me? Well, you know what? It might be at the bottom of the cabinet here. Let me put you back there, okay? Okay. okay. Yeah, okay, yeah, sure, sure, sure. I'll put him back here so he can look for him. You know, I hate to tell you, but sometimes he tries to trick me. He plays tricks on me, so I don't know if that Monty's Marvelous Monkey Food is for real or not. Okay, here we go. Okay. TJ, right? All right, look out there and just use your imagination. When you see the invisible water, just point it out and I'll snap him up in there, okay? You ready? Go ahead, look out there. Okay, point to him. Good. Go ahead. Got it! Oh, wow, he was fast. Oh, yeah! Oh, oh yeah, hang on a minute. Let me get it. TJ, open that up and hold it to him and show them the butterfly. Ta da! Woo! Hold that in your other hand. Ta da! You, what? You weren't expecting a big, beautiful butterfly, were you? You were? Well, see. Butterflies don't start out as big, beautiful butterflies. They start out as butterfly eggs. See, that's how they start out. You can learn about that kind of stuff from reading books at the library. Okay, I'll tell you what, TJ. Let me put the butterfly eggs in, back into there. Look out there and look for that butterfly again. See if we can catch it. Whoa, whoa. Wow. Oh, way over here. Okay. Got it. Oh, good job. Good job. Whoa. Oh, yeah. It's more like it. TJ, pull that out, show them. Hold it with both hands. Yeah. Oh, he's upside down! Bring him up! It's a big fat caterpillar! Yeah. Here, and hold it right down here so we can see your face. Perfect! Because you know what, that big fat caterpillar has a big smile on his face. You know why he has a big smile on his face? Because he knows when he grows up, he's going to be a big, beautiful butterfly. But you know what caterpillars like to do? They like to eat. What do they eat? Leaves. They just eat and eat and eat and eat leaves. In fact, let's use our imaginations. Because you know what? We're going to pretend that these are leaves. And if you would just give that to him and let him eat those and wrap him up in that. Go ahead and wrap the whole thing up. And he's going to eat and eat and eat because that's good food for caterpillars. Leaves are. In fact, you know what's good brain food for you? Books. We can read and read and read and read. How many of you know the more you read, the smarter you get? Yes? Yes, because reading is good brain food. Okay. And then... After the caterpillar eats and eats all the leaves, he gets tired and he spins. What does he spin? A cocoon. A cocoon or a chrysalis. And you learn that kind of information from reading books at where? Right. Yes, the library. And here's our cocoon. Go ahead and wrap that all up, TJ, in the cocoon and put it right there in the bag. Okay, good. All right, look out there for the cat for the butterfly. Oh, good. He's doing good at this. He's got a good imagination, that's good. That must mean he reads likes to read. The more you read, the bigger your imagination becomes. Got it? Yeah. Point to it so I can catch him. Wait over here. Hang on a minute. I got it. 
Yeah, no, I got it. I had it right there. Hold up, hold that up. Show everybody. Two hands, please. Yes, he did a good job. Woo! Yeah, I think he's got it. Yeah, and hold it down here a little bit so we can see your face. Face the front. Whoops. A big round of applause for my helper, TJ. Good job. All right. We're going to put that there. We'll take the hat and the binoculars. Go ahead and flip off those binoculars off here. There you go. All right. And then, before you go sit down, TJ, hang on a minute, because I have something to give to you for helping me. This is how to draw a wild lion. That's for you, TJ. Face the front and take a bow. All right. Give him a big round of applause. And you can have a seat.